The following video will provide an overview of the new V9 features for View Designer. This slide lists all the new features in the V9 release. This video will only cover the major features. There is a new section in Security Administration called Connection in Groups. Here's where the domain controller, encryption methods like Start TLS or LDAP-S, and groups associated with roles are defined. This information is used by the terminal to provide Active Directory authentication. The domain configuration is manually entered and obtained from the PC hosting the domain controller. A certificate is needed if using Start TLS or LDAP-S encryption. Once the certificate has been obtained, it needs to be imported onto the terminal. This is done from the Settings menu under Certificates. The Certificate screen lists any certificates that have been imported onto the terminal. Select Import to begin the import process. Select the removable media that contains the certificate and then select Import to import the certificate onto the terminal. Notice that the certificate has now been imported onto the terminal. During runtime, the logon dialog now provides the ability to select to log on as a local user or as a domain user. If the domain is configured, the default is to log on as a domain user, otherwise, the default is to log on as a local user. The Studio 5000 View Designer help file provides domain authentication error codes and descriptions. The Studio 5000 View Designer V9 project can be exported to a text file. Create content in a defined textual format and import it into your Studio 5000 View Designer project. Screens, pop-ups, and add-on graphics export as separate text files in a folder structure. Select File and then select Export Project. The next step is to specify a location for the exported contents. An export status message will be displayed along with a link to the location of the exported files or an error log if the export was not successful. Browsing to the location of the exported contents for the sample application project, we see the view application.hmi file type. Opening the view application.hmi file, we see that it is a text file. This file defines the catalog number, home screen, and folder structure for the exported project. If we go into the User Defined Screens folder, we see all the displays in our application. Again, notice the .hmi file types. Opening the general .hmi file, we can see all the properties of this display and are able to modify the properties, if desired, before importing it.
To import an exported project, open a new project and select File and then select Import Project. The import can also be done with an existing project. New content will be added to the existing project. If the content already exists, it will be overwritten. Next, browse for the viewapplication.hmi file of the desired exported content. After selecting it, an import progress pop-up will be displayed. A status message will be displayed to indicate whether the import was successful or not. If an import error occurred, there will also be a link to an error log file to assist with troubleshooting. Customize folder icons on the navigation menu with icons or your own images. Make hierarchical navigation more visually appropriate for your specific application. Select a folder in the Project Explorer window. Use the icon drop-down menu to select a predefined icon or browse to another location. The icon used in this example was obtained from the internet and placed in the pictures folder. Notice the screen's icon for the older features folder in the navigation menu. Previously, this icon was fixed and was a folder icon. There is now an option to locate the navigation menu on the side of the panel U5000 instead of along the bottom. When the side menu location is selected, the width property is used to define, in pixels, how wide the navigation menu will be when open to support longer shortcut captions. The maximum width in pixels is limited to 500. After opening the navigation menu, notice that the navigation menu has opened on the side of the terminal instead of along the bottom. Observe that there is more room for shortcut and folder captions compared to the bottom menu location. Additionally, notice there is a search option to search for specific screen shortcuts in large projects. You can now configure numeric inputs and numeric displays to fill all the empty digits before decimal places with zeros. This is useful to align columns of numbers. After entering values 1, 10, 100, and 1000 using the numeric inputs, Observe the numeric displays under the leading zeros heading. Notice the leading zero or zeros in front of the numeric value. This provides the ability to align the numeric values displayed during runtime. Thanks for watching this video.